Continuing our commitment coverage now, it's been a few years since the Republican Party had control of the U.S. Senate. We know they're going to have that come the new year. Control of the House is still in question tonight. NBC5's Jackson Stover joins us now after talking to lawmakers about the shakeup that happened last night. Jackson. Brian Liz, NBC5 is hearing from some of our congressional delegation this afternoon about the work ahead. It was not the outcome that, that I wanted. Vermont's congressional leadership is here to stay following this election cycle, but they say they've got their work cut out for them. Because I'm coming off of two years in which the Republicans were in charge of the House, and it was chaos. Democratic Representative Becca Ballant is still processing the results of Tuesday's election as is New York Representative Elise Stefanik. We're very optimistic that we will not only hold the House, but that we will pick up seats. The Republican chairwoman says with majority in the Senate and the House, she and her fellow representatives will be able to get things moving. We think we're going to pick up seats, obviously having unified Republican government to allow us to secure the border, focus on America first economic policies. That is a top priority. For the first time in four years, the Republican Party has control over the U.S. Senate, a change up that gives the GOP a major power center in Washington. Something Vermont Senator Peter Welch says is a concern for Vermont's delegation. If you're in the majority in the House or the Senate, then you control the agenda. So being in the minority creates a real impediment. The majority party hold leadership positions on committees. That means senators like Bernie Sanders are losing their platform. He, it, he's just not going to have that same uh, megaphone. Middlebury political science professor Matthew Dickinson says even though Senator Sanders won't be chairing any committees, he'll still have a voice. Even in a 53-47 Senate that favors the Republicans on a lot of issues, Bernie Sanders is still going to be a player here. So we don't want to overstate his loss of influence. It's real. Certainly rhetorically, he's not going to be dominating agendas, but he's still a player. Vermont's delegation says no matter how it pans out, they will always put Vermonters first and give them a voice in Washington. And we're going to need all of that hope to do the work ahead. Now, if you missed our coverage, a complete list of the results of key races we've been following can be found on our website, mynbc5.com. In the studio, I'm Jackson Stover, NBC5 News.